Hi guys, in this video I'll take a look at an app called Galactic Explorer. It's an app that uh, mostly uh, designed for kids. Uh, it gives them the opportunity to uh, explore the solar system in the palm of their hands. So before we start talking about this app, uh, this is my merch GBC over there. So let's bring it in focus and see the app. All you need to do is just place it in front of the camera and look at this. Look at this beautiful view of our solar system. Look at this. Isn't it amazing? Let's put it here. Let's first just take a look. Now aside for this, you're probably asking yourself, so what else? What more about just holding the uh, solar system in the palm of your hand and what kids can do with it? So, it's also interactive. All you need to do is just tap on the screen on the planet that you want to get more information of. So, for example, I click on the sun. Then the sun gets in focus. I can hold the sun in my hand. Look at this. All the other planets are now gone and I'm just holding the sun in the palm of my hand. And I can rotate it using my just rotating the cube and it also rotates the sun. And if I want to get more information, I can just click the icon, the information icon, the blue one, and it gives me some basic information. And trust me, there will be some adults who aren't aware of some of the facts that are written here for some of the planets. I also some discovered things that I didn't know. Now, uh, if you look at the texture carefully, they aren't that sharp. And to be honest, I mean, it's, it's a nice presentation uh, for the sun, but of course it's, it's far from being a, a, something realistic, but it's a good presentation. It looks nice and it triggers kids' attention, uh, but I think, you know, if we add like something like in higher texture and higher texture resolution and maybe a bit animation on the surface, it would be, it would be better. Maybe changing some, you know, views of the sun, like from an uh, X-ray view, you know, it would be more interesting. Maybe it's overkill for a kid's app, maybe, but you know, I think it would be interesting uh, to put it here. So I will go back. To go back, you just tap on the sun again, and then you get the same full view of our galaxy. Ah, uh, sorry, of our solar system. Obviously, holding the galaxy in the palm, something that you can do probably, but not in this app. It's really cool, look at this. Now let's try up uh, uh, tapping on Earth. Look at this. Now we can also see Earth and its moon. Yeah, this is the moon. So I can click the moon. No, the moon doesn't bring any information, only Earth. Now let's check other planets. Let's check out, for example, Saturn. Look at this. Look how many moons Saturn have. It's amazing. Wow. Whew. And I try to click so I can click information about the, the specific moons, which is quite uh, unfortunate. But Saturn has many moons. Let's see how many. I think more than 50. Yeah, 53 moons. So you probably won't expect to see all the 53 moons. But getting a bit more information about them would be nice, in my opinion. Yeah, this is Saturn, let's go back. So why this app is such a good app? So, so, the presentation is just fantastic. One of the most impressive that I've seen yet. Second, it allows kids to hold the solar system in the palm of their hands. So this makes the experience more personal and unique. Third, look at this. I can even spin planets. I can spin them around. But that's just me. I just enjoyed it. Would you just enjoy spinning planets around? So you can do this. Another reason is that this is a very simple app. And for kids, it's very accessible. 
So instead of just uh, putting a lot of information on the screen that can confuse a kid and would probably require an adult to explain things with it, uh, in this case, the kid can just use the app and, you know, just tap and get some basic information and, and move on to the next button. This is very simple to use. This is another reason why this app is actually very suitable for kids as an educational app. It made it very, very simple to use. Now I think this is by far the most close and personal uh, educational app that you can have about the solar system. I mean, again, I'm just going to show you so you can understand. I'm holding the solar system in my hand. Now I've seen uh, a few videos online of kids uh, trying this out and it gets them so excited. Because this is something different. The, the moment a kid picks up the cube and view this app, it's triggered its attention immediately. Space I think now with all the space exploration missions going to Mars, I think that you know many kids read about it, and you know, at least the uh, parents say something to them about it, and they're probably going to get you know interested in learning more about uh, our galaxy. So this is one way. You know, to something to buy to them. If they already have the merch tube, download and give it to them. Or if you don't, you can buy the merch tube and give them this app and just let them, you know, enjoy it and learn things from themselves. This is a start. From that point on, they can start their own journey and learn more things and continue learning about it online. But this is a very good start. Look at this. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is. Uranus. What an amazing presentation. Wow. Wow. Really, this type of experience you just don't get anywhere else. Anywhere else. This is something unique to the Merge Cube and it's such an amazing... I Even now, I'm, I'm, I tried thousands of apps. A augmented reality apps and this is something that I always come to want to experience again and again and again because it feels so unique again I'm just holding it and I'm seeing you through the phone and I get excited so just imagine a person or a kid you know who haven't tried augmented reality before or just trying this app for the first time I'm telling you every kid out there will get excited by this every kid may almost every kid I mean just try it it's such an amazing experience Uh, oh, one more thing. I I'm using the app in phone mode and uh, I'm holding one the phone, the, my Android phone in one hand, in my right hand, and holding the Merge Cube in the second hand, in my left hand. Now, uh, you, this means it's not that comfortable and, and if you want to have your both hands holding the, the cube, you can still do it. All you need to do is just use the stand for the Merge Cube and just position the tablet or the phone on the stand itself and then use your two hands to um, interact with it. Why it's good? Because some kids have small hands and it probably won't be comfortable for them to hold the device for a long period of time uh, for interaction or maybe hold the cube itself in one hand. So when you put it on the stand you can use, um, you can just put the phone there and the kid can interact with the app with its two hands. So yeah, that's just a recommendation. Uh, for those who probably uh, you know haven't figured this out or you know a kid complains that it's just too big for them to hold it or it's not comfortable um, this is a way to do so something is also about coordination you know aligning the phone if you hold the phone in the hand align the phone and use the finger to tap on the planet it's not that comfortable so this is a way to make it more comfortable now if you want to press something you can still do this but this means that the kids now needs to hold the, the phone in their hand and then um, uh, take the right hand or the left hand, depends on which one you hold, uh, the merge chip, and just tap on the screen. You can still do this, but you can do this, you know, just after you, you tap the screen, uh, you can just continue holding it with two hands. I give you a demonstration now so you know what I mean. Let me give you a demonstration how it works, all right? Okay. So right now, I'm not using the merge cube holder, but another holder. So as you can see, okay, I hold it in my hand now. I can hold it with my two hands, all right? Turn it around with my two hands. Now, if I want to interact with it, I just move one hand. I just tap, for example, let's tap 
on a different planet. Let's tap. Yeah. So here we can see Venus. I'm holding Venus in two hands. Right? I can rotate it around. Alright? And then uh, if I want to tap and go back, I just go to the phone, tap on the planet, I'm back and I can hold it with my two hands again. Because most of the time uh, the user will probably uh, observe the planet, rotate it, and you know, then if, if the user wants to go back, he or she just tap another planet, go in and investigate it as well. Yeah, so this is how it works. Yeah, so this is it. This is Galactic Explorer for Merch Cube. And my recommendation, download it. It's free. Maybe it wasn't free before, I don't remember, but now it's free. So you can download it and try it out. It's really a cool app to give to kids, uh, to show them what our uh, uh, solar system is about, all the stars, uh, show them how they rotate around the sun, show each one what moons that it have, and get some basic information about each one. So yeah, a good app, I recommend downloading it, and have fun! One more thing, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and want to see more MerchTube app reviews, uh, and I'll bring you more. Um, other than this, have a great week, and, and continue browsing, there are some amazing, amazing videos on my channel, so make sure you don't miss them out. I try my best to publish daily, uh, and if you want something, if you want me to review a certain app, please just drop me a few lines in the comment section. Tell me which app you want me to review, and I'll do my best to review it as soon as possible. Thank you guys, and see you soon. Bye-bye.